primary cause of death for 70% of old people is amyloidosis. Amyloidosis is a group of disease in which proteins known as amyloid deposit in tissue. General symptoms may include diarrhea, weight loss, feeling tired, enlargement of the tongue, bleeding, numbness, feeling faint, withstanding, swelling of the legs, or enlargement of the spleen. Amyloid deposition can occur in different parts of the body. Kidneys. Amyloid deposition in the kidneys can cause nephrotic syndrome. Reduction in the kidney's ability to filter and hold on proteins. Signs and symptoms. Protein in the urine, nephrotic syndrome, and rarely chronic kidney disease. Heart. Amyloid deposition in the heart can cause both diastolic and systolic heart failure. Brain. Symptoms may include orthostatic hypotension, gastrointestinal symptoms like constipation, nausea, or early satiety. People with amyloidosis don't get central nervous system involvement but can develop sensory and autonomic neuropathies. Liver. Accumulation of amyloid proteins in the liver can lead to elevations in semi serum aminotransferases and alkaline phosphatase. Two biomarkers of liver injury, which is seen in about one third of people. Liver enlargement is common, in contrast, spleen enlargement is rare. Thyroid and adrenal glands can be infiltrated. It is estimated that 10 to 20% of individuals with amyloidosis have hypothyroidism. Musculoskeletal system. Amyloid proteins deposit most commonly inside knee, followed by hands, wrist, elbow, hip, the ankle, causing joint pain. Oral cavity. Amyloid deposits in the tissue can cause enlargement of structures. 20% of people with AL amyloidosis have enlarged tongue. This can lead to obstructive sleep apnea, difficulty swallowing, and altered taste. Pathogenesis of the amyloid deposition is connected with misfolded protein digestion failure. The fragments or actual protein are at risk of misfolding as they are synthesized to make a poorly functioning protein. This causes proteolysis, which in the directed breakdown of proteins by cellular enzymes called proteases or by intramolecular digestion. Proteases come and digest the misfolded fragments and proteins. The problem occurs when the protein don't dissolve uh, proteolysis because the misfolded protein sometimes become robust enough such that they are not dissolved by normal proteolysis. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of amyloidosis generally requires tissue biopsy. The biopsy is assessed for evidence of characteristic amyloid deposits. The tissue is treated with various stains. The most useful stain in the diagnosis of amyloid is Congo red, which combined with polarized light makes amyloid proteins appear apple green on microscope. Amyloidosis has four most common types of systemic disease are light chain, AL, inflammation, AA, dialysis, and hereditary and old age, ATTR. Treatment depends on the type of amyloidosis that is present. Treatment with high doses of mepalan, a chemotherapy agent, followed by stem cell transplantation, has shown promise in early studies and is recommended for stage 1 and 2 AL amyloidosis. However, only 20-25% to 25 of people are eligible for the stem cell transplant. Chemotherapy and steroids, melpalan plus dexamethasone, is mainstay treatment in AL people not eligible for transplant. Eprodizate has been shown to slow renal impairment by inhibiting polymerization of amyloid fibrils. In ATTR, liver transplant is Curative therapy because mutated transterrene, which forms amyloids, is produced in the liver. 
Prognosis varies with types of amyloidosis. Prognosis for untreated AL amyloidosis is poor, with median survival is 1 to 2 years. Outcomes in persons with ALAA amyloidosis depends on underlying disease and correlated with concentration of serum amyloid A protein. People with ATTR have a better prognosis and may survive for over a decade. Senile systemic amyloidosis was determined to be the primary cause of death for 70% people over 110 who have been autopsied. The three most common forms of amyloidosis are AL, AA, ATTR amyloidosis. The median age at diagnosis is 60.